you. How's it you feeling back at Bantamweight? Oh, it feels good, man. I don't got to cut that extra last 10 pounds. That, that kills you. So uh, I just feel good, man. I'm uh, energized, feel strong, excited for the new challenges. Is it bittersweet at all knowing that the flyweight division is kind of up in limbo? A lot of these guys are now out of jobs. Control. I mean, honestly, it does suck, you know, for the flyweight division. And for me, if I would still be in the flyweight division, I put in a lot of work in there. And uh, I think it's all for a reason. It's going to help me progress to the next division, which is my home weight, 135. And even in your new home, it's kind of up in the air because the champion is now fighting for another belt yep. in the following weight class. What do you think of this division now? Ah, uh, man, I was just, you know, every, everything's everywhere right now. We're not really focused on that. Focus on this Saturday, keeping my mind sharp and being ready for Rob Font. That's my main goal right now. As far as how you compared to your, your one twenty five. Oh, man. Honestly, it's, it's crazy how good I feel. Uh, fighting down at 125, like I said, the extra 10 pounds, it, it gets to you. Um, my immune system would get low. I'd get sick before the fights. So it was definitely tougher, but um, it, helps, it helps me out now. You know, I'm, I get, understand how to be strict as an athlete. Uh, that and you know everything that's going on, man. I, I love the UFC. This is where I feel like I belong, and this is where I want to stay. So, uh, if, if it's at 135 or 125, rather it's at, if as long as in the UFC, I like it. Would you ever drop that down? Like, say that you just fly away, you feel great right now. Yep. Would you want to drop that? Down? I can make both weights, honestly, man. I, I'm strict enough to make both weights. I can make 25 if they make the call. Obviously, I need a little bit more time. I'd like eight weeks, seven weeks, but I think I can do it all any, anyway. Anyway, 125, 135. I mean, this happened with the, the lightweight division a long time ago. You know, I heard they were gone for a bit, came back. Who knows? You know, the organization's always changing. Uh, MMA is always evolving. So whatever happens, happens, and I'm ready to adapt either way. Oh, he's tough, man. He's, he's a tough opponent. He has had a great, great success at 135. Great fights, beat Thomas Almeida, beat other big names uh, by knockouts, submissions. So he's good everywhere, and I'm excited for that. I'm excited for the challenge. Someone's going to come in and try to fight me, and I want that. I want to put on a show for the world. Tired of going to these decisions, you know. I think this is going to bring me out of my show and make me fight to the best capability. Yep. Doesn't change up weight class. It's part of life, man. I'm not perfect, you know. It's just showing me uh, that I still got to work harder and be be better, not only in the octagon but outside of life. You know, I made a lot of changes. Got rid of some bad habits and more focus on my career now. You know, everything that's going on with the flyweight division did scare me. You know, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta work harder. I gotta be better. So, uh, I'm excited to show that this Saturday. Nah, it's not frustrating. It's part of the process, man. It's part about going and going and keep going. I would, if I would, uh, if, you know, if obviously I fell short and stopped, then it'd be kind of bummy. But I'm not, I'm not done. I'm motivated. I want to get a belt one day and 135, 125. I said I'm gonna have a belt. Ah uh, man, honestly, he's a great athlete, man. I thought he was—he did well in the UFC. I mean, amazing in the UFC. You know, he's a, one of the best to ever do it. And obviously, it does suck to see him go, but you know, he had a better opportunity apparently at the other organization, some more money. So, you know, hats off to him, man. I don't know yet. I gotta find that out. I gotta find that out. He's, he's back to the gym now. He's, his hand's good. Um, he's motivated again, and he's been working without a fight, so that's what's up. How long before your entitled contention? No, no plans yet, man. My plan right now is to focus on Saturday, and whatever else happens after that will happen. So I'm really focused on the present moment, not, not the future. Do you quantify how many days, how much time you get back by not having to cut the flyweight instead of and, and cutting to 135 instead? You put like a, I honestly couldn't put a time figure on it. I just, I just know that I, I get to smile a lot more. I gotta, I'm a lot happier, you know. But uh, any, any weight cut honestly sucks, man. If you have to lose 10 to 15 pounds, you're gonna be like, oh my god, I can't eat the things I want to eat. So, regardless, a weight cut is a weight cut. It's tough, but an extra 10 pounds makes it, you know, that much tougher. So, I'm a lot happier at this division. A lot better. My immune system's still here. So. When would you start it when you were at flyweight? When would you start like the hardcore, super duper? Eight, eight weeks out. I walk around 165, 162-ish, so uh, I, was, I was doing some drastic weight cuts. Not only that, I'm, I'm a Mexican dude, so I love eating tacos, burritos, and all the, all the bad stuff. So sometimes I see higher numbers. I, I've been up to 72 at a time and fighting at flyweight. So, you know, obviously, like I said, I've made some better decisions outside of my life to make my weight more, more easier for me to cut. But for flyweight, it took eight weeks of cardio, dedication, uh, 
diet, you know, it was, it was, it was tough. Same things. Still, started eight weeks out. still, still eight weeks out, but not not as strict. You know, I still get to enjoy some food and still get to put more food and nutritionist food that's inside of me, not just you know obviously the crappy food. But uh, uh, you know, it was a lot, a lot more meals, a lot more, uh, a lot more, like I said, a lot more smiles, a lot more happier. Yep. Hundred percent, man. Like I said, you just if you get to eat more food, who wouldn't be happy eating more food? <laughs> I don't know anyone. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's a blessing. It's an opportunity that I'm excited to take advantage of. It's been five years since I fought here. I was 20 years old, a young, young man. Now I'm a, I'm a man now, man. I'm 25 years old. I got goals. Got a whole different perspective, a whole different mindset. And this Saturday, I'm excited to show it all. How big of an advantage is it not Oh, it's cool, man. I get to sleep in my own bed. You know, that's cool. But it's still business, you know. It is what it is. It could be home, it could be farther away. I'm still gonna have the same goal, the same, the same work ethic, everything.